Welcome on board the International Space Station. Uh, this is the largest human-made body in low Earth orbit, so it can often be seen with the naked eye from Earth. Uh, my name is Rick Mastracchio. I was the flight engineer on the 120th Soyuz flight to the ISS. I worked here with other people. What's it like working in space? Well, the lack of gravity makes our hearts expand a bit, and it has to work harder at circulating blood to our feet. Like exercise? Yes, uh, about three hours a day on treadmills and resistance machines. You're focusing on our lower bodies since we don't use it as much here without the gravity. We also watch our diet much like you do, just differently. What exactly does the ISS do? The ISS serves as a space environment research lab where experiments in biology, physics, uh, meteorology, and more are conducted. They also test spacecraft systems and equipment required for missions to the moon and Mars. How did they build the ISS? Was it brought up by a rocket? <laughs> no, no, it's impossible to build this station and launch it into space at one go. Our rockets are not big or powerful enough. The ISS was taken into space piece by piece by the Soyuz spacecraft and built up here. It is possible to travel to the ISS in just six hours nowadays, while previously it had taken two days. Have you heard of the Voyager? I only read that Voyager 1 left the solar system recently. It was the first man-made object to enter interstellar space, though I'm not quite sure what interstellar means. Interstellar space is a physical space within a galaxy not occupied by stars or their planetary systems, so it's very, very deep space. So the Voyager went into deep space? Yep, uh, it took over 35 years for Voyager 1 to reach there, and it's Earth's furthest spacecraft. Wow. Voyager 1 also carried with it a kind of time capsule, like a, a gold-plated copper disc that contained sounds and images to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. Why? Who are they meant for? Extraterrestrial life forms, or future humans who might find them. To watch more, subscribe to our YouTube channel.